Huddersfield 1-4 West Ham, Manuel Lanzini scores twice as Hammers Rob to win. West Ham produced a devastating second half display to thump Huddersfield 4-1, with Manuel Lanzini scoring twice to give David Moyes the 200th Premier League win of his managerial career. Mark Noble capitalized on a mix-up between Jonas Lossel and Joe Lolly to give the Hammers the lead with a cool finish, 25, before Lolly made amends five minutes before the interval with a sublime equalizer for the Terriers. Marco Arnautovic restored West Ham's lead just 11 seconds into the second period when he latched on to Chiku Kuyate's flick, and the Austrian then turned provider for Lanzini's first away Premier League goal since November 2016, 56. Lanzini completed the route five minutes later following another swift counter-attack as the Hammers moved above their opponents into 11th in the table with Huddersfield dropping to 13th place. Moyes has now completed a double century of wins in the English top flight, with only Harry Redknapp, Arsene Wenger and Sir Alex Ferguson, watching on from the stands at the John Smith Stadium, having achieved more. After a cagey opening. West Ham profited from a disastrous breakdown in communication between Huddersfield keeper Lossel and Lolly from a goal kick, as Arnautovic forced the midfielder into conceding possession on the edge of his own penalty area, allowing Noble to sweep in the 50th goal of his career. But Huddersfield, and in particular Lolly, responded well to the setback. Lanzini overran the ball to Matthias Jorgensen and, once Tom Mintz had invited Tommy Smith forward from the right, the ball was worked wide by Aaron Mu to Lolly and he stepped inside Noble to curl a wonderful strike into the bottom corner. David Wagner's side finished the half in the ascendancy but they were made to pay for a sluggish start to the second period as, from the kickoff. Angelo Ogbonna's long ball forward was flicked on by Kalyate to Arnautovic, who lifted the ball over Smith before firing low to Lassell's left and into the net. The Terriers were rocked by the bolt out of the blue, and their problems increased as, five minutes later, Arnautovic sped away from Christopher Schindler to lay the ball into Lanzini's path and the Argentinian flashed his shot across Lossel for a slick third. He was delighted to call upon Arnautovic after he recovered from a hamstring injury, and further signs of his blossoming relationship with Lanzini were on show for West Ham's fourth as the Austrian winger spun Schindler on the touchline before allowing Lanzini to take the ball off his toes to cut inside and blast his second into the roof of the net. This was David Moyes' 200th win as a manager in the Premier League becoming the fourth person to achieve this feat after Alex Ferguson, 528, Arsene Wenger, 468, and Harry Redknapp, 236. West Ham have won eight points in their last four Premier League away games, W2D2L0, as many as in their previous 15 combined. 69 of Huddersfield's home goals conceded in the Premier League this season have been against London clubs, 11 16ths. Huddersfield have conceded seven goals in their last two Premier League games, this after conceding six across their previous six. Marco Arnautovic is the sixth player to score in three-plus consecutive Premier League away games for West Ham and first since Dia Frisacco in October 2014. Mark Noble has now scored, 35, or assisted, 27, 62 Premier League goals for West Ham, only Paolo Di Canio, 78, has had a hand in more for the club. Men of the match, Marco Arnautovic.
Arno Tavrik was absent from West Ham's goalless draw with Shrewsbury Town in the FA Cup third round, but David Moyes' decision to protect him was vindicated as the Austrian returned to torment the Huddersfield defence with another display of his improvements since the Scots' arrival. It's now six goals in his last seven games for Arno Tavrik, who provided Manuel Lanzini with both his strikes. Meaning for the first time in his Premier League career, the forward was involved in three goals in a single game. Huddersfield will look to regroup when they head to the Bet365 Stadium to face Stoke City next Saturday, while West Ham have an FA Cup third round replay against Shrewsbury Town on Tuesday before entertaining Bournemouth at the London Stadium next Saturday.